Hello everybody, welcome. Welcome to the video. Today we're going to be reacting to the Genshin Impact 4.8 special program sh video. And I'm super excited to see what this patch is all about and hopefully a preview of the new region. And yeah, I'm super excited to see what they have in store for us this time. So yeah, without further ado, let's go. Travelers, welcome to the version 4.8 special program. <gasps> hey, let's go. I'm Sarah Miller Cruz, the voice of the female traveler Lumine. Before we get the ball right. rolling, <laughs> let's introduce our other hosts. Yay! Yeah. Hello, everyone. My name is Amber Aviles, and I voice Emily, a famous perfumer from Fontaine. Hey, guys, my name is Danny Chambers, and I'm the voice of Nilu, a talented dancer from Sumeru. Yeah. Hey. And I'm Julia Gu, the voice of Kirora, a courier from Inazuma. <laughs> oh my gosh, amazing! Uh, I am so happy to have you guys here. Okay, y'all can probably guess why we're all here today. It's time for us to show off a new limited time summer map. Ooh. I can't wait to see what the developers have okay. been up this time. Yes. I haven't even seen the final Okay, version. summer event, okay. Well, that's what the version 4.8 trailer is for. Let's take a look. Yes! All right, let's see. All right, let's see Kodoramos what they cooked up. Is currently organizing a flower exhibition. Oh, okay. That strange smell around here. Surround yourself with fragrance for too long, and your sense of smell will become dull. Allow yourself to be consumed by your emotions, and you lose the ability to think rationally. I'm Emily, a perfumer from Fontaine. Okay. Oh, a polearm user, all right. Reconstitute. This is right and a catalyst user. Not what I expected. I won't lie. The hero from another world, supported by their companions, shall restore peace to the world. <laughs> the, the chubby paper hamster just talked! <laughs> okay. It wasn't just a dream? But this, uh, Nekomata friend of yours, she doesn't eat hamsters, does she? Wow. I, I was reading a book at the Grand Bazaar. Well, then I woke up just like this. Okay, this is... I like this. This looks pretty cool. <laughs> <laughs> so this is what it feels like to ride a toy train. You're really Loving the to whole. Navia. Oh, okay, Navi's here too. Okay. <laughs> Bro, is this for a Ooh, that's bro? An hour and a half. <laughs> Do all storybook heroes have to work this hard? Is that a reference to Star Rail? <laughs> you actually expect me to answer them all. We'll be here until the next Intergarshon Championship. Loving the whole toy the theme, okay. For this whole mess. Oh shit, okay. Uh okay. <laughs> Liking the whole toy theme seems pretty fun. <laughs> <laughs> oh shit, okay. Gonna take a picture of that. Hey, let's go, okay. Nice. That looks pretty... that looks cute. I won't lie. Based on the event trailer, that... The event looks pretty... it looks pretty cute. Looks pretty enjoyable. Seems like fun. <laughs> but yeah. Fun stuff already, man. I'm really enjoying it. Doesn't seem too serious. Wow, this is making me feel super ready for some summer adventures. So, this is probably the perfect place to show off our new character. Yes! Oh my gosh, <laughs> that, that, that was the perfect segue. <laughs> A perfect segue, of course. <laughs> yes, yes. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Right, let's introduce everyone to one of Fontaine's most renowned perfumers. Emily! Woo! Oh, Emily isn't just a great perfumer. 
She's also a pharmacology and botany expert. Oh. Okay. Wait, that oh. reminds me. Doesn't one of Cloran's voice lines mention that Emily has a true profession? An identity hmm. that stayed a mystery up till now? We'll know once we've learned more about her. Okay. A casual stroll after a meal aids digestion and increases blood circulation. So, would you like to join? So she's a pole arm user. All right. Neutralize. Fresh and floral. Okay. Oh my gosh. What? Oh my gosh. Wow, She's okay. So cool. Right? I love her shoes. Yes. They're so and, cool. and did you see when she smelled the perfume? Oh my gosh. I absolutely love that detail. Yeah. Yes. She's so elegant. Like, just the way she moves. Like, it's just so right? beautiful. Yes. <laughs> I know, right? <laughs> so, let me tell you. Emily is the most renowned perfumer in Fontaine. Ooh. The new okay, I won't lie to you. Usually I think I'm a pass on this one. <laughs> well, almost. Yeah, I'm a think so I'm I'm a pass on this on unit. For perfumes, I won't lie to you. To this is this is more in the for me. This oh. is a pass. I don't really like Emily dig the design and all that. Top of her trade as Not a really perfumer. my cup of tea. She's a forensic cleaner. But if it is for you, mm -hmm. I like the one who cleans GGs. The crime scenes I really hope you get her. Investigation has been concluded. She's a very experienced cleaner, so she often picks up details and scraps of evidence that other people overlooked. Yeah, okay. Yeah. Oh, oh, okay. So mm -hmm. she's kind of like a forensic examiner. You know, Chevrus mentioned it in one of her voice lines. She said that Emily's chemistry knowledge is super helpful for uncovering hidden clues during investigations. Hmm. She can tell what type of perfume that someone wears and where they've been spending time. Okay, it, it all makes sense now. <laughs> It's because of her forensics work. That also explains how Emily and Chevrus got so close. Uh huh. Absolutely. Forensic cleaning is a lot more dangerous than creating perfumes. Hmm. Emily generally doesn't talk about her other identity in order to avoid retaliation from suspects. Hmm. So most people only know her as a famous perfumer. Oh, Emily's probably been through okay. all sorts of stressful situations. All right, then. Right. From, like, all right. That's interesting. From, venues to gruesome crime scenes. Ooh. That's Ooh, an interesting must character trait. a lot of mental toughness to handle all that. Yeah. <laughs> exactly. Okay. Exactly. And her professional experiences contribute to her unique combat style. Emily is a dendro pole arm user. When she unleashes her elemental skill, she creates a Lumidus case that deals AoE dendro damage. Okay, so Ooh, she's just a pole arm user. Really okay. Nice fragrance. Cool. <laughs> I know. The Lumidus case is a creation that Emily is really proud of. Oh. It fires puffs of pure dew at nearby opponents periodically, which deals dendro damage. Oh. oh. When nearby opponents are affected by the burning reaction, the Lumidus case will accumulate scents at intervals. Oh. <laughs> I know, right? Okay. After collecting two huh. scents, Okay. The Lumidus case will be upgraded from level 1 to level 2. Ooh. At level 2, the Lumidus case can fire an extra puff of pure dew. Oh. The damage dealt by the puffs of pure dew will also be increased. Only one Lumidus case created by Emily can exist at a time. Oh, wait, does that mean it's pointless to collect scents once you've already reached level 2, though? <laughs> oh, no, not at all. After Emily's passive talent, Lingering Fragrance has been unlocked. The level 2 Lumidus case will release clear dew cologne that scales with every two cents collected. Oh. The cologne will deal AoE dendro damage to nearby opponents. Okay, so if I'm okay. understanding this correctly, only huh. enemies under the burning okay. status will create scents, and the damage scales with the number of scents collected by the Lumidus case? <laughs> exactly. That sums it up perfectly. Oh. After unlocking one so of the she's specific a burn counts, unit. Emily okay. will deal greater damage to enemies under the burning condition. Oh. And when right. Lumidus okay. case is on the hmm. field, it increases the entire party's resistance to burning damage. Oh, okay. Now I understand how Emily's talents can work in a party. So, once you use her Lumidus case to apply Dendro to your enemies, 
You can use a pyro skill with a different character to trigger the burning condition. Uh-huh. That's exactly right. <laughs> okay. And the Lumidus case has even more functionalities. Ooh. After you've unleashed Emily's elemental burst, the Lumidus case will rise to level three and collect the existing Lumidus case on the field. Oh, that's cool. This fully upgraded Lumidus case will cause Scented Dew to continuously descend onto nearby enemies, dealing dendro damage. Yeah. When the level three Lumidus case leaves the field, a new Lumidus case will be created. Mm. This case will be at the same level as the one she collected during her burst. Okay, so if a level two Lumidus case is about huh, to leave the okay. field, then you could unleash Emily's elemental burst to reset its duration. Uh, that way the level two Lumidus case will be able to spend even more time on the field. <laughs> Bingo. It seems like you really figured out her kit but we should let travelers experiment with these mechanics for themselves. Okay, I think I understand Emily a lot better now that we've learned about her skills. Mm. She transforms scents into perfumes and leaves the world a cleaner place. Yes. Honestly, her skills seem to perfectly combine her talents as both a perfumer and huh, forensic okay. cleaner. Mm. Huh. <laughs> right? Exactly. <laughs> okay, great. Emily mm. is an expert with all kinds of scents. No suspect can hope to remain in the shadows while Emily is on the case. <laughs> she always manages to discover the truth. <laughs> All right. Ooh, are we going to get the chance oh, to see her yes. forensic cleaner side? Oh, please say yes. <gasps> please. <laughs> oh, absolutely. <laughs> yes. During <laughs> Emily's story okay. class, the Pamum de Ombra chapter, travelers will learn about the mysterious Auguste flower that has appeared in Sumeru. Travelers will work with Emily to uncover a series of mysteries related to this flower and expose the truth once and for all. Ooh, so oh, exciting! Okay. I love mysteries. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> Sounds decent. Travelers to uncover the details for themselves. Aww. In the meantime, I have mm. some other information to share. <gasps> oh, what is it? The upcoming event wishes, of course. <gasps> Okay, yes. banners, okay. In the first phase of version 4.8, travelers can look forward to returning Shit. event wishes from <laughs> Navia and Nilu. Be sure to check okay. them out if you're interested. <laughs> and in the second okay, phase Navia, of all right, let's go. we'll have event wishes for Emily and Yelan. A Fuck. new five-star form, <laughs> Lumidus Elegy, will also Ooh. be featured on the weapon banner. Fuck. All right, okay. <laughs> that was a I want Navia and now, Yelan. So Fuck, bro. For my sake. <laughs> God damn it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that sounds good. It's also the right time to show the second redemption code anyway. Yeah. My wall okay, gonna be we crying, will see you bro. Soon, <laughs> yes. Doodles. Nice. <laughs> okay, another redemption code. Let's go. But yeah, man, my wall is gonna be crying hard, dude. God damn it. Navia and Yelon? Oh, that's pain. That is just pain. <laughs> Oh god, why? Why? God damn it, bro. I don't know if... I don't know... Ah. Damn it. Oh, fuck. <laughs> I don't know if I should go for both of them, because I don't think... Because I'm going to just go broke if I do. <laughs> oh, it looks like we're headed to a new place. And if we're headed to a beautiful location, then it's only fitting to wear a beautiful outfit. Yes, exactly. You are so right. And Milu and Kirara will get new outfits in version 4.8. Oh, new skins. Yes. Okay, let's go. <laughs> oh, I'm so ready. So ready. Oh, okay, <laughs> let's start off with Nilu. I took a good look earlier, and I have to say... It's totally awesome. <laughs> <gasps> I have to share it with y'all in more detail. Okay, look, uh, take a look, take a look, take a look. <laughs> All right, let's see. Come okay, with me so on that's her skin. Journey. All right. Um. Okay. I present to you a gift from the forest. I think it's decent. I won't lie, it's decent. Not my favorite, but... Okay, that was cute. Fuck. Oh, 
Not my favorite oh my skin, gosh. but she looks so beautiful. She's so gorgeous. Like look at all the flowers and like the, the skirt being petals. Oh my yes. gosh. Yes. Yes. Oh my gosh. She's so pretty. Uh, it, it really, really suits Milu too, don't you think? Yes. It's so Okay, I won't lie. Not my favorite skin, but I'm so I think happy. I, think I like it. I, it's decent. <laughs> I like it. There's also a really I dig really it, cool but I'm probably not going to buy it. I'll be real. Does everyone remember Cuz I haven't the bought a skin so far in Genshin. Yeah. And I don't find scales I feel I don't need like feel I don't have the need to. Tales, I'll be right? honest. <laughs> oh, yeah. Yes. Yes. yes cool. Absolutely. Yeah. Exactly. But happy this for you Nilo fan. Nilo fans though. Fairy tale world known as Sinulanka. In this world, Nilu will get a new outfit and a new identity. Okay. That is so exciting. <laughs> okay. Awesome. It's going to be so good. So, I'm guessing Sinulanka is the new summer region? Yep, and this fairy tale world is facing all sorts of crises. Travelers will discover a giant footprint shortly after entering this world. <gasps> oh, oh my, my gosh. Goodness. Whoa, whoa. That oh shit, cute. okay. Wait a second. Right? <laughs> You'd have to be massive to leave a footprint like that. Mm hmm. Oh, absolutely. Oh, and if you follow the footprints into the depths of the region, then you might be able to find some clues. Origami animals live in this forest, so you might be able to get some valuable information from them. Ooh. Okay, I'm fun. loving the whole oh, design of them. I noticed some of the animals look off color. Yes, huh. they do. Very perceptive huh. of you. Some of the origami animals are in big trouble. The color <gasps> of their paper is fading. Oh, I know. No. It's so sad. <laughs> So I'm loving the designs of the animals, though. Together with their friends to revitalize the forest and help those animals solve this crisis. Okay. Oh, oh my gosh! I will do anything. To I help hope there's no creatures. spoilers in this. <laughs> I'll be honest. <laughs> Hopefully, there's no spoilers in this, or at least yes. minimal spoilers. But okay, <laughs> travelers won't have to face these crises alone. They'll receive help from okay. all sorts of companions during their journey in Sinulanka. Hey, it's Kirara in her new outfit. And Nadia. Yes. Oh, oh okay. That guy. <laughs> <laughs> if Bruh, are that guy, in really? If all the events in Simulac <laughs> unfold, then be sure to check out the summer region during the new update. Okay, well, since Kirara is wearing her cool new outfit, can we take a closer mm -hmm. look? Thank you for noticing. <laughs> <laughs> That's just what I've been waiting for. Yes. Okay. Scaling walls, leaping across the rooftops. Nothing new for me. Okay, I like this outfit. Okay, I'm I definitely like this outfit. Won't I get funny looks from people if I dress like this on a delivery? Yeah, I definitely like this outfit more than Nilo's. I'll be real. Oh, oh I definitely like this one better. She's so cute. <laughs> so cute. I know. Oh, she's so cool. It looks like she's ready for an adventure. Hat, 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 hat. Oh yeah! Hat, hat, yes! Hat. She has oh, a hat. It's adorable! Yes! Yeah, the color, style, and the accessories all complement Kirara perfectly. She's really giving me like, a strong honestly. impression of a vigilante who comes out at night. <laughs> you know what I'm talking about? Oh, you better yes. watch out. <laughs> <laughs> well, best of all, <laughs> travelers will be able to obtain this outfit for free. Wow! Excerpts of bliss will be scattered throughout the Hey! Long. Travelers will need to collect jubilant feathers and open fairy tale troves to obtain. Hey, oh, let's go! After you've collected enough of these excerpts. Travelers can obtain Kirara's new outfit for free. Okay. They can Damn, also get okay. Primo gems and other rewards. Yes. Oh. Hey, yo, awesome. let's go. I know what I'm doing. Free skin, let's go. Live, collecting excerpts of bliss so I can Did get not my expect hands on that. that. Outfit. <laughs> oh, heck yeah. Get my Did not expect that. a free skin. Yeah, yeah you can uh, definitely <laughs> I'm not going to lie. <laughs> this is actually this really is good free skin. I actually really so? like it. Well, there's even more content in the big <gasps> summer update. No. Yes, there's more. <laughs> Simulanka has a bunch of fabulous events that everyone can enjoy. Oh, really? Let's hear it. Oh, you got it. Travelers <laughs> can look forward to four different kinds of gameplay in Simulanka, and they all follow a unique theme. Wait, is that the a free Kurama? Boreal Flurry. You know? Travelers will have to move through streaming currents and destroy is that like something to score different? points and earn rewards. Destroying special Because if that's a free Kurama, that's actually... Effects. That's actually really, Game Chat really, move. I really love to say more, but okay. I'll let travelers experiment with them in the game. <laughs> Ooh, oh my gosh. This is so cool. It's like we get to shoot at things midair. That's awesome. Yeah, right? So cool. Uh, okay, next 
up, we have Flying Hatter's Trick. Travelers can use a flying hat to attract oh. toy figures, allowing them to score points in a variety of different game modes. Okay, that oh, looks hey, interesting. It looks like a that looks like an interesting machine, game mode, like I won't lie. I like it. Yes. Exactly. I am still terrible at those, though. Oh, you're gonna be good at this, though. I can oh, this. was this the thing? <laughs> so oh, this really thing <laughs> was existed before. Okay. The third gameplay is called Metropole Trials. Travelers will need to form two teams to complete a combat trial. Oh, but Defeating oh, opponents shit. <laughs> will accumulate valor. Filling your valor energy bar will trigger a time for valor, which grants buffs to your team. Oh, nice. Defeating opponents while a time for valor is active will Luckily, earn I've been building more units. points. <laughs> oh. And More travelers units, who so. take part in these three events will earn star sale coins. In figurine fabrication, travelers can insert these coins into fantastical fabricators to earn keepsake figurines. Mm. Hopefully that makes it even easier for travelers to remember their journey. Aww, what a cute origami oh. hamster. Oh, okay, that's cute. Yeah, he's okay. Just a guy. Just a little guy. <laughs> Aww, that's cute, man. I like it. I like it so far, <laughs> um, dude. After travelers have used the fantastical fabricators enough times, they'll be able to invite Kirara to their team and claim special rewards, including oh, so she's and free. Okay. Oh, and travelers can display. The okay, that's actually great. Both I like that. Pot and around Simulanka. Hey, let's but go. Don't worry if you don't receive the figurine that you want. You can also gift and trade figurines with your friends. Oh, yes. Oh, that's a relief. Oh, that's awesome. Awesome. That's yes. So cool. It sounds like the summer region gives us a lot to look forward to. Mm -hmm. I wonder what else version 4.8 has in store. Oh, oh, okay. You've got perfect timing. All right, let's take mm -hmm. a look at the rest of the events in version 4.8. All right. Yes. Oh, first up, we're introducing the Imaginarium Theater. A once blank canvas has been sitting in a corner of okay. the lobby. But now... Vibrant colors have emerged on its surface. This oh. new permanent gameplay mode will launch in version 4.8. Nice. Five okay. envisaged echoes challenges will become available. Ah, this is when it's coming out. Okay. Each right, challenge right, will right. correspond to a designated character. Hmm. Travelers will receive two keys of echoes upon entering the challenge, and each challenge requires two keys to unlock. If you complete the okay. challenge, then you'll be able to obtain the corresponding character's echo cosmetic reward. <laughs> yes. Uh, okay. And once you've equipped an echo onto its designated uh, character, okay. they'll have a unique trailing effect while they're sprinting. Oh, my oh, gosh. okay. Duke's echo looks like okay. flaming feathers. That's so <laughs> cool. <gasps> yes, and Chi Chi's echo seems to give her ghost companions. Aww. Honestly, I feel Ooh. like that's something that Hu Tao would be super interested in. Oh, no, Chi Chi run. <laughs> right? <laughs> oh, uh, hold on. I have a question. If we only start off with two keys, then that means we can only unlock one challenge, right? Mm. Are there any other ways to obtain those keys? Oh, oh there's yeah, Ningguang too. Okay. Travelers can receive one key from each season of the Imaginarium Theater, where they complete oh. and finalize a combat performance in Act Six or higher. Oh. Okay. okay so you can't unlock those Echo rewards huh. in one go. Oh, well, yes, damn. Exactly. I know. Damn, so bro. Take your really? time, everyone. There's no need to rush. It's not damn, going bro, anywhere. Really? <laughs> Oh, by that the way, sucks. <laughs> you can only complete the challenge using its designated character. You're also going to have to pay attention to the character level and friendship level requirements. The participating character must be level 90, and their friendship level must be 8 or higher. It's time to test how well you truly know your characters. Well, rip, Sweet. <laughs> well, rip me. I don't have any yeah. level 90 characters. <laughs> the Envisaged Echoes Challenge doesn't just test how well you can use a character, but also how well you understand their skills. Each challenge has specific obstacles, and you'll only be able to pass if you fully master the character's skill mechanics. Huh. That's awesome! So oh, skill man, issue, so the uh, <laughs> game mode. <laughs> so ready. <laughs> <laughs> you can also look forward to a ton of events happening in Fontaine. Yeah. Travelers <laughs> will get to meet an enthusiastic scholar in Romaritime Harbor, which allows travelers to play Bing Bang Finchball. Thanks, Bossima. Bossima and Finchball seems to remind me of something. Oh, wait! Wasn't there also a Bossima in version 3.8? Oh, oh, yeah. Oh, that's right. The Bossima we met last year was a Hydra Eidolon replica of a human who once okay. visited the Valeria Mirage five centuries ago. Oh, she invented yeah. the earliest version of Finchball. The Bossima in Fontaine is her descendant. Mm. 
Huh, no. okay. That's interesting. That is such a neat connection. Yeah. Interesting and so NPC lore. Pass, <laughs> I'm guessing that we'll get to experience a new kind of finch ball. Exactly. <laughs> Travelers will still need to launch finch balls into target zones in order oh, to Oh, okay. But these new stages will have rival finch balls. Oh. Rival finch balls will make it harder to score points, so... So, it's kind of like... ...based on the situation in front of them. Ooh, it's I almost like, like curling, changes. in a sense. I'm okay. excited to try the new finch ball. And that's not the only new addition. So, yeah, this it is. Okay, that's sick. That's kind of like curling. What? So, Let's you go. can be each other's rival finch Amazing. balls. Oh, shit, okay. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Travelers uh, can freely choose their level while they're in co-op mode. Each level has different terrain characteristics and types of finch balls. Players will take turns launching finch balls, and the person with the most points after four rounds will win the match. Hmm. That sounds really fun. So no yeah, basically wins, curling. <laughs> totally. I mean, look at these okay, guys. basically look at curling. Finches. They're so cute. <laughs> They're so, so cute. adorable. Oh, and speaking of cuteness, Let's just see how this works. Does everyone still remember Asagiri's photo taking commission? Uh. uh yeah. Maybe. Asagiri has made her way to Fontaine, but this time her photo requirements aren't as strict. Travelers can easily satisfy the commission requirements by submitting photos of their favorite characters. An interval timer mode has also been added, making it easier for okay. travelers to capture their characters in the perfect moment. <laughs> <laughs> oh shit, okay. Oh, wow. I'm so excited to see what all the master photographers are going to come up with. Oh yeah. Huh. We'll also hey, have yo, the opportunity go. to meet up with Hosseini and Fontaine. And he's bought an upgraded energy amplifier with him. <laughs> Wait, wasn't Hosseini studying energy amplifiers in order to graduate? Oh. Does, does this mean that he still hasn't graduated? Oh no. <laughs> oh no, I, um... <laughs> <laughs> Bruh. Scientific <laughs> research is filled with obstacles. <laughs> this time, Hosseini has integrated the energy amplifier with Fontanian technology to create the Hosseini amplifier. And he'll need our help to test it out in combat. Listen, if we can help him finally graduate, I am definitely in. <laughs> <laughs> yes, <Bruh>. please. <laughs> oh, totally. So, in each stage, Travelers will need to form three parties to participate oh, in three shit. consecutive rounds of combat tests. <laughs> Another. Okay. Each party Please member tell me will provide a fixed characters. amount of motive force based on their character level. Mm. Motive force can be okay. used to set up ley line effectors, which grant buffs in combat. Oh, so the same character can be assigned in multiple parties. But okay, repeated thank God. <laughs> characters won't provide motive force in subsequent combat trials. So you okay. better keep that in mind while you're forming your teams. Okay, I get it. So we need to make sure that's that a big each yikes for me. Has enough motive force to receive combat buffs. That way, we can obtain a higher score. <laughs> exactly. Once you've configured all the buff slots for a single party, you can also choose a buff to apply across all your parties. All right. Travelers will have to experiment to determine the best setup for them. Awesome. Okay. Is anyone else here excited about card games? Uh, I know I. Yeah. I know okay, I'm Genius and okay. <laughs> oh, TCG, okay. So, in version 4.8, a couple of old friends are being added to Genius Invocation TCG. New oh, okay. And action cards will also be available. Hey, Navia and Shivarus, okay. The overflowing mastery event is returning in yes. version 4.8, so don't miss out. Let's go. All right. all right. That's all the event related news that I have right now. So next, let's talk about system optimizations. Wow, Sarah's right. on a roll today. All right, thank cool. you, thank you. <laughs> okay, first off, the encounter point system has been improved. In version 4.8, hey, let's go. points earned from daily activities can now be stored. Oh. Travelers oh, won't have to worry okay, about let's them going go. to waste anymore. Ooh. Okay, so how hey, do we use let's the go. points that we've stored? Well, travelers can convert their long-term encounter points into daily encounter points by spending original resin. Long-term encounter points will be reset during every version update that ends with point zero. In other okay. words, the first update for a new region. That means the first reset will occur in version 5.0. Okay, okay, let's nice. go. That's a great update. I like that. I like yeah, that. Or you can save them for a rainy day. That gives travelers a lot more freedom. Ooh, also, the cooldown for all world bosses will be reduced to 10 seconds. Oh. Mm -hmm. oh. I know. Thank That's God. Really a lot easier to farm <laughs> Thank 
Freaking God, man. To the encounter points oh, system. You'll be able to convert oh, encounter cool. points even faster. Hey, now thank that God. The periods are shorter. That's super convenient. <laughs> I can definitely tell awesome. that Wu well, was playing a fire under Genshin's ass. For travelers who love to follow the game's stories, we will now have a one-click high UI feature, which will hopefully provide a more immersive experience. Okay. In addition, we'll be getting a new feature that allows travelers to review dialogue text Thank and audio fucking in God. conversation. So Thank fucking God, bro. Oh my God. Fine, Ooh, a freaking lead. That is perfect for travelers who like to take screenshots and travelers who like to analyze the dialogue. Hmm. Oh, you can look forward to a bunch of other optimizations in version 4.8. Mm -hmm. Thank fucking God, bro. Fine, a fucking lead. Travelers can choose to lower their world level once they've reached world level 3. The difficulty of the licensed okay. quest will also be lowered. Just to name a few. Oh, yes. That <laughs> okay, that's good so for new players. I like that. Players. It'll be easier to pass Amber's gliding test. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I know. Hey, but let's go. Be sure to keep an eye out for future announcements to learn more information. Hmm. Well, uh, we hit everything, right? Actually, we still <gasps> have some more information to share. But <gasps> first, Dude? let's new region? the final redemption code. Dun, da, da, da. Oh. Okay, let's go. Here we go. All right, let's do it. Hey, let's go. But man, those quality of life updates, man. Thank fucking God. They, thank you. Thank fucking God they exist, man. Holy shit. This game has needed it for a long while, man. <laughs> From what I've heard, this, this, this game has definitely needed it for a long ass while, man. Holy hell. Holy hell. Thank you, finally. <laughs> That's all I'm going to say, man. <laughs> and I'm going to say this again. Kind of feels like... Kind of feels like Wuthering Waves is lighting a bit of a fire under Genshin's ass. I won't lie. Really does feel like it. And I like it. <laughs> Welcome back, travelers! Hello! Hello. Welcome back! <laughs> Welcome back! <laughs> Alright, let's get straight to the information that I promised. Okay, let's go. Whoa, what's that? Huh? So cozy, <laughs> I want to be there. I know, right? Oh, merch okay. stuff? Okay. Listen carefully, everyone. I have an important ah, Hoyo announcement. Fest, okay. Mm -hmm. Hoyo Fest is coming soon. <gasps> <laughs> okay, Hoyo Fest, all right. For those of you who might not know, Hoyo Fest is an annual event that celebrates all of Hoyo versus games. Oh, so not just Genshin Impact. Oh, that's exciting. So yeah. it's basically a live Starting event, I'm guessing? July, Hoyo Fest will host a series of online and offline events. By participating okay, cool. in these events, you'll have the chance to obtain Hoyo Fest themed merch, event exclusive Ooh. gifts, and both in game and out of game rewards. <gasps> Feel free to join in on the fun, travelers. More detailed information will be posted across Genshin Impact's official accounts, so stay tuned. All right, cool. Dope. So exciting. We also have an exciting collaboration to announce. Genshin Impact will be partnering with one of the largest aquariums in the All world, right. <laughs> Sea Aquarium. All right. Hopefully, travelers cool. will be able have to fun. participate in an entirely new collaboration experience. Oh, I, I don't think Genshin Impact has ever teamed up with an aquarium before. Uh, let me think. It's got to be a Fontaine-themed collaboration, right? An aquarium. Okay, yes, Omega Lol. You guessed it. <laughs> Nailed it. This event will be based on Fontaine. Sijuin, the head nurse at the Fortress of Meripede, will guide travelers as they encounter marine creatures and explore the mysteries of the deep sea. Keep an eye on Genshin Impact's and Sea Aquarium's official accounts for more information. So basically oh, an IRL collab. <laughs> Fish time. Awesome. Now for some out of game genius invocation TCG news. <laughs> the knockout stages oh. of Astra Carnival, the Prince Cup for the Atlantic, and Pacific regions will be held soon. The Atlantic stage okay, will take place so... on July 27th, and TCG. the Pacific <laughs> stage will be held on August 2nd. So look forward to a fierce so basically Pokemon top TCG, from those but two in, for Genshin <laughs> in real life. There's <laughs> also a little surprise in store for you all. Uh -huh. Before the knockout stages begin, all travelers will receive a commemorative card back in their in-game mailbox. Yes. Okay. Let's go. 
So be sure to follow the official Astro Carnival account for more information. And that's not all. Genjin Impact's fourth commemorative OST album, The Shimmering Voyage Volume 4, will hey. be available in version 4.8. Okay, it let's original go. Original Genjin Impact music composed by the Hoyo Mix team. Yay! Hey, it let's go. From version 4.8 events, cutscene music from versions 4.0 to 4.8, and other content. Hey, hey let's go. Music slaps. Music. <laughs> I can't wait to react to some more tracks from that once it comes out. All right, that's all the information that we have to share. Then that means... Yeah, it's almost that time again. It's time for the special program to end? Yeah. All right, it's almost oh. over. Okay, dope. I know. Well, is no there new region? anything y'all want to say before we go? Yes. Uh, I'm New very region. excited for the costumes for Nila and Kirara. They are so adorable, and I can't wait to see like their yes. new uh, roles that they get to play in this new event. I'm just, I'm so excited for this. I can't wait. I too, as an unbiased individual, am excited about that. Um, <laughs> <laughs> I'm biased, huh? <laughs> but oh, I'm so so excited too for the echoes. Like, so oh, really? I'm so down for all of this customization. Echoes, and huh? Oh, it's so. Th <laughs> Listen, I'm just hmm, very excited. Echoes. Well, I just sounds familiar. Say, I'm so excited that you all. <laughs> I'm get only to kidding, bro. I'm only kidding. Emily, Yay! I really hope you like her. I know, totally. And I am super duper excited for Hoyo Fest and also for the Sea Aquarium collaboration. Yes. That is so exciting and cool. I can't wait to see what happens with that. So right. epic. Yes. All right. Well, this is the end of the special program. Thank you all so much for being here. And yeah, I guess we'll see you all right. in the game. Bye. Okay. Bye. 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 Anything you. else? Yeah, any any teaser? Come on, anything else? Hey, there we go. Okay. Oh shit. Okay. <laughs> okay. Oh shit, who's that character? What the hell? Look, the music going crazy. Yeah, this is very... Okay. <laughs> oh shit, okay. Well, damn. It reminds me very much of uh, a bit of Power World. With the way the coloration and everything is. Also reminds me a bit of, uh, like... Almost... Caveman-ish. Okay, let's go. Yeah, with the music and everything, it really reminds me of, like, caveman type of stuff. Almost like... Uh, what are you... Yeah, caveman is the best way you could put it. Like, it really reminds me of that. I won't lie. I really like it. I dig it. But yeah, overall, pretty filler patch. But pretty filler patch overall. But do like in every. I do like the banners that are coming up. And it seems just like a fun, lighthearted patch. I won't lie. And the new. And the new teaser, let's go from that land. Okay, let's go. Can't wait to see more of that and whenever 5.0 comes out. But yeah, I'm loving the skin. I like uh, I like Kurara's skin. I like that. I think that's probably one of my favorite thing. One of my favorites, favorite things in that patch. And it's and the fact that it's free is amazing, dude. Also, I'm loving, overall, I just love the great quality of your life stuff that they're introducing, man. It's just, thank God. Because, <laughs> like, holy hell, man. <laughs> They've needed that for so damn long. Even though, have, even though I've only started playing it, like, recently. Genshin recently. I have noticed that they needed these kind of quality of life improvements for so damn long. According to lots of people that have played it before, at least from what I've heard. But yeah, <laughs> and I can't wait for that new music OST track to drop, man. I can't wait to hear some new tracks, dude, and hopefully see what what's in it. But yeah, overall, man, great stuff. Had fun, and 
I can't wait to see what comes next for Genshin. But yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed, please drop a like on the video. And also, if you want to see more, please subscribe. And please let me know what you thought of the video down in the comments below. And thank you guys again so much for watching. Remember to stay humble, be kind to people, and I'll see you guys later.